Hi, this is Avinu Mukhopadhyay and welcome to NET Paper 1 class. We have already completed the teaching aptitude and the research aptitude chapters in paper 1 and now it's trying to go and complete the communication chapter and to some extent we have completed the communication chapter if you see the previous videos and now we have three units that need some arithmetical and logical practices like the chapters logical reasoning mathematical reasoning and data interpretation we also would complete thereafter the ict or information communication technology chapter then the higher education system chapter now uh, just after this class that means from the next week or if it is possible we would also provide the recorded lectures from this week itself on both the ict and higher education system and people development uh, uh, give me one second people development and environment chapters so three chapters we would simultaneously read the first is information communication the higher education system and the people development and environment because these chapters needs some knowledge regarding the educational policies right the political uh, informations the political concept governance must be clear right so the higher education system involves all these things and the history and development of the education system in india all these things we discuss in the information communication uh, ict information communication technology we have the computer awareness we have the teaching uh, aids which are necessary for teaching so all these things which are related to technology and teaching and connect, connect uh, the connection between them all these things we will discuss in people development and environment we have the development environment uh, uh, units where we have to read the uh, different policies different summits different uh, organizations which are working for the development of environment and at the same time the environmental issues all right climate change its socio-economic uh, and political dimensions and impact on the pollution all right so these are the syllabus natural hazard and the uh, management disaster management and the instrument international and national instruments that we have for the development of the environment and the common people so these things are co-related and we would discuss these three units simultaneously in different classes all right now what today we would do we would simply go for the five previous years exam questions from the teaching aptitude chapter now we would today discuss the last five exams questions from the teaching aptitude all right so that's what today we do and we would also try to understand how the questions are how the levels uh, of the question are, questions are so we would understand the level and we would also in, uh, prepare accordingly all right so we have completed the teaching aptitude chapter uh, in uh, june july all right so if you have missed the classes the classes are given on my youtube channel go there attend the classes revise the classes and we will also take some revision classes hereafter all right so come to the january 2017 question though 2021 uh, and 22 29 and 28 these years questions we would also add in the later video but now today we would discuss from 2017 so let us have five years today itself all right let us discuss five years questions now january 2017 what are the six questions asked from this chapter itself so six questions this is a have uh, heavy weightage right so a heavy weightage is given on this chapter so the first question is acceptable propositions in respect of teaching learning relationship so what are the teaching learning relationship propositions the first is of when students fail in the test it is the teacher who fails so there were multiple options so these are the correct options the next is every teacher must aim 
at ensuring learning there can be teaching without taking learning placed then we have a teacher teaches but learns also so these are the correct options so these are the correct or acceptable propositions in respect to teaching learning relationship yes when the teacher is teaching he is also learning right when a student fail, uh, fail in the examination it is also the failure of the teacher and every teacher must aim at ensuring the learning so this is the only aim of a teacher there can be teaching without learning taking place then learning is a lifelong process learning to uh, to be useful must be linked with life so this is uh, one statement uh, taken from the question now we have not written the questions but we have only tried to understand what are the things asked in the question paper then third one effectiveness of teaching has to be judged in terms of learning outcomes of students yes so the learning outcomes are the only parameters where we can judge the effectiveness of the teaching hmm. in discussion method learners participation made optimal and proactive so in discussion method discussion methodology we have discussed the methodologies of teaching please go through the previous videos in the uh, in the previous lectures all the things are discussed the teaching methodologies so one of the teaching methodologies is the discussion method and in the discussion method the learner participation makes something makes the discussion method more and more proactive or optimal one of the most powerful factors affecting teaching effectiveness is related to the education system one of the most powerful factors affecting teaching effectiveness is the is related to the education system yes so the education system is the determining factor that can determine the affecting uh, or sorry the effectiveness of the teaching so the effectiveness of the teaching is not only the delivery of a teacher but also the system itself all right so if we give the uh, emphasize on more active teaching all right or we help the classroom to be a greater place then the effectiveness of the teaching would also increase formative evolution tends to accelerate the pace of learning so formative evolution tends to accelerate the place of learning we have discussed what is formal uh, formulative uh, formative evolution and also we have discussed the other types of evolution if if you uh, go for the previous lectures you can find the types of evolution the placement evolution the pre evolution the initial evolution the formative evolution that is a uh, concept by paul black and the evolution during the course learning process so when we are learning the process we are in the learning process uh, that some type of tests are taken for example some model test all right or also some periodical tests are taken so these kind of things are called formative evolution and in the formative evolution we develop the understanding that how things are going on all right and uh, if there is actually any learning taking place now come to the august 2016 questions characteristics of teaching what are the characteristics of teaching very easy question the teaching is related to learning yes obviously teaching is a task word while learning is achievement word yes teaching is a task word and the learning is achievement word yes so one may teach without uh, one may teach without learning taking place yes there can be teaching where there is no learning if i am teaching a kid about the theories related to uh, noam chomsky then the child may not understand right so factors affecting teaching affecting teaching are the teachers initial focus of control the motivating capacity of the learner and the teachers self efficiency efficiency and the teachers skill in managing and monitoring the teachers knowledge so all these things are the factors affecting teaching actually these are the qualities of the teachers that uh, must be in a teacher all right then we have the methods of teaching come to the third question the methods of teaching optimizing learning what are the methods of teaching optimizing learning the interactive lecture session followed by a uh, booth session brainstorming and project so uh, to optimize learning to uh, give the learning 
a maximum outcome we have to initiate some kind of brainstorm some project work and also some booth sessions then teaching aids have to be considered as effective supplements to instruction teaching aids are the supplements that can uh, add value to the teaching process they keep the student in good humor yes so it uh, makes all the things easy now we have in august 2016 nine questions from teaching aptitude so you can understand the importance of the chapter then the next question fifth question the purpose of effective evaluation is to accelerate students learning performance so the purpose of effective evaluation so when we evaluate a student it is to accelerate students learning performance it also makes the student in a uh, it it allows the student to be in a flow it also makes the teacher uh, to understand how the learning is going on all these things learners maturity level academic performance level and motivational uh, dispositions are likely to influence the effectiveness of teaching aids and evaluation system to ensure positive results learners maturity level yes academic performance level and the motivational dispositions so these things can influence the effectiveness of teaching aids so these are the things that can differ child to child learner to learner right and they can also add value to the outcome or the effectiveness of teaching all these things all right internal and external factors that affect message reception by the student in classroom are reflected uh, to as noise yes so the noise is the disturbing the intervening factor that can make the class make the learning less effective a teacher in a classroom sorry a teacher in a classroom has immediate control over so a teacher is the controller of the self that means on himself or herself the selected methods of communication he can change the method of communication and also the message so these are the things the teacher is on control but not on the student right teacher is not a dictator teacher is a follower of certain uh, methods as a good classroom communicator you are supposed to know your artful pauses yes pause is the art of speaking so voice modulation if you if you learn voice modulation you have to learn how to Uh, give pause how to use the pause artificially all right so that is the uh, the use of a good orator that is the quality of a good orator and come to the july 2016 we have nine questions also in july 2016 16 the best way for providing value education is through lecture discourses on value all right so if you want to give some knowledge on values and then we can give some lecture All right, on hello. Prior experience, ability, language, background, motivation are helpful in designing effective teaching learning system. Yes, we have discussed in the previous years or previous year question also. That means uh, in the August 2016, that there are certain qualities from uh, on the part of the students that can determine the effectiveness of teaching and learning. Memory level is the recording important points made during the. presentation so when we remember the things that is the memory level of learning understanding level of learning is uh, giving opportunity for discriminating uh, uh, discriminating examples and non examples of a point that is the understanding that means making things more clear with examples all right reflective level reflective level is uh, the critical analysis uh, analysis of the points to be made and discussed that means when we can use what we have uh, learned that is the reflective level so that is the critical analysis that is the application right so reflective level is the application of the learning formative evaluation formative evaluation we have also discussed so you can see that in the paper one itself the questions are getting repeated the formative evaluation the quiz and dis uh, discussion test the summative evaluation the grade uh, summative evaluation is the grading the final learning outcome continuous and comprehensive evaluation that is the evaluation uh, uh, cognitive and co cognitive aspects with regularity norm and critical reference evaluation that is the test and their inter uh, 
interpretations based on the group and certain yard sticks now try to understand this are the types of evaluation we have discussed the types of evaluation in a separate video and please go uh, through the video the video is given on our channel the use of teaching aids is justified on the ground of effective effective engagement of students in learning task the use of teaching aid is justified on the ground of effective engagement of students in learning task yes so when we engage more and more students we need more and more teaching aids right so that is something that can help engaging the students and also to determine the effectiveness of teaching the purpose of higher education is to promote critical and creative thinking abilities among students yes the purpose of higher education is to promote the critical and creative thinking abilities among the students so uh, when the critical thinking increases we have among us more scholars and this is the purpose of the higher education to make more scholars to develop the research and to promote the quality of education all right and the think tank thinking ability adoption of well established posture can ensure your effective presence in the classroom yes a teacher must have a good posture so posture that is the body language a part of body language we have discussed the body language so body language is a part of the, the 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 good delivery of the lecture or the, the teaching all right whatever you can say so the adaptation of well established posture or body language can ensure the effective presence in the classroom so the effective presence of the teacher can determine the attention of the students right voice modulation is an important element that a teacher has to take cogn uh, uh, cog cognizance of while addressing students in the classroom voice modulation i have just talked about voice modulation voice modulation is the artful use of your voice as an or orator or a good public speaker so when you are addressing a huge mass then you have to be determined about the weight and the aesthetic sense aesthetic aspects of your delivery all right so you have to use artful pause you have to use a uh, certain uh, language flow all right so your voice must sometime be in high pitch and lower pitch you have to maintain all these things so that is voice modulation and that can catch the attention of the listener or the target audience effectiveness of teaching the teacher's knowledge of subject communication skills competent uh, uh, competence in managing and monitoring the classroom translation uh, transaction sorry so classroom transaction means the coder and the decoder relationship that is the transaction between the coder and decoder that is the classroom transaction or all the communication transactions so effectiveness of teaching can be determined by all these factors like teachers the knowledge of the subject the teachers command on the subject and the communication skill as uh, a public orator or a public speaker or the using using the artful pause that is the voice modulation the competence in managing and monitoring the classroom transaction all right now come to 2015 in 2015 we have 10 questions right now uh, try uh, let, let us discuss 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the uh, handicap of students coming to the classroom greater the demand on the teacher yes the more and more uh, m differently able students are in the classroom yeah, the, the demand of the specialized teachers increases right what are the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation the continuous and com uh, comprehensive evaluation what is the importance of this type of evaluation it replaces marks with grades it evaluates every aspect of the student it helps reducing exam phobia yes so when more and more continuous tests are taken the exam phobia is decreased and also it makes the student more and more uh, uh, skilled all right so and also it helps the teacher to understand the learning or if any learning is taking uh, accordingly right so the pace of learning great strength of a teacher is the, uh, the 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 setting example abilities and relating uh, giving the relative uh, relative examples linked with real life examples real life all right so we have discussed all these things willingness to put assumptions to the test 
acknowledging the mistakes so acknowledging mistake is a great quality all right of a teacher and it is a rare quality though so we want more and more teacher who are humble and who can uh, generally uh, acknowledge that yes there may be yes we, we must uh, acknowledge that everybody does mistake right so making mistake is nothing uh, something that is a uh, so so much violating the rule all right so everybody does the mistake so willing to put assumptions or uh, to the test so uh, the artful guess all right all these things mcq questions mcq questions are more objective than uh, the true false type of question and you have to remember this that mcq is more objective than true false type question as a chairman of an independent commission on education jack dailer Uh, report that would be report sorry for the uh, spelling mistake type typing mistake to unesco so uh, remember the name jack dailer and the title of his report to unesco that was learning the treasure within learning the treasure within very important title you have to remember several time asked in uh, net papers right so you have to remember as chairman of an independent commission on education jack dailer reported to unesco uh, the title learning the treasure within that was the report of jack dailer what are required for good teaching for good teaching we need the diagnosis that means we have to understand how the teaching is taking place the remedial teaching and the direction and feedback all these things remedy for the students the direction of teaching and also taking feedback you have to open to feedback if you are going to be a good teacher the main objectives of student evaluation of teachers are to make teachers take teaching seriously teaching is a serious profession all right to help teachers adopt innovative methods of teaching yes you can be a innovative teacher and the only aim would be to make learning more effective the uh, to identify the area of further improvement in teaching traits you need to we certain concerns about uh, the improvement of teaching all right in teaching uh, effectiveness using the central point of classroom communication as the beginning of dynamic pattern of ideas is referred to as mind mapping so mind mapping is something that would help you to deliver a structured communication all right and a dynamic pattern of ideas most often the teacher student communication is ut utilitarian you have to remember this is also multiple time asked so the communication of teacher and the student is utilitarian that means uh, it can help everybody so that is a generalized type of communication that is uh, uh, that that must be in the classroom in a classroom a communicator's trust level is determined by the eye contact eye contact is the only thing that can so you the trust worthiness and the trust level of a speaker all right now come to 2015 and uh, well, this is probably the fifth exams questions 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 yes yeah, so we would leave up to june 2015 and the other years questions would be discussed in a separate video so after a long time this video is to resume the classes only but yes we wanted to have a look and to build your confidence that yes the questions are very easy and you can answer very easily if you have uh, uh, gone through all the lectures and also the books and also practice you have practiced a few previous year questions all right or some exams or mock test or anything practice sets all right now come to 2015 june net question from teaching aptitude we have five questions the highest level of cognitive ability is evaluation yes this is the highest level of cognitive ability we have discussed all these things all right factors impact teaching so what are the factors that can impact teaching the classroom activities that encourage learning learning through experience teachers knowledge now we also in the third question know some teaching aids and the what are the works of the teaching aids teaching aids generally help in retaining concepts for longer hours because uh, when it is audio visual when we can see the things when we can uh, understand what are how the things can be done in the classroom 
uh, all right manually then it would help you to retain the concepts for longer or make teaching learning process interesting yes that is also uh, something that needs some involvement of the teacher and the students so that can make the process interesting then the fourth question techniques used by a teacher to teach include what are the techniques that can a teacher use for teaching first is lecture then interactive uh, lecture uh, lecture and interactive lecture are different right so this is a dis discussion type of thing then group work then the self study we have also project all right so all these things the teaching methods which uh, can be used by a teacher so teaching methodology that is a part of this chapter is discussed in our class and in the revision classes we would also discuss all these things so please be uh, very much attentive and be in the class regularly if you are not a part of the classes now register yourself in uh, the online classes that can take place on google meet all right so you can join directly and you can also attend the classes live so please register yourself the link is given in the description box go there register yourself be a part of the classes now come to the fifth question achievement tests are commonly used for the purpose of inspiring students to learn so achievement test can motivate the students and the achievement test questions must not be something uh, so much difficult that the students are afraid of no that the purpose of the achievement test is to understand how the teaching taking place how the teaching can be developed that is the remedial teaching and also it is to motivate the students right so there are also other aspects we will discuss all these things later on on our revision classes this is Avila Mukhopadhyay if you have not subscribed the channel do it now and be a part of the classes if you want the live classes then register yourself the link the registration link is in the description box this is Avila Mukhopadhyay bye bye have a nice day